In 1811, New York financier John Jacob Astor sent fur traders to the Pacific Northwest. A trading post was established shortly thereafter. They named it Fort Astoria. By 1856, it became incorporated as Astoria, which is located at the northwest tip of Oregon. Astoria holds the distinction of being the oldest settlement west of the Rocky Mountains. It also has close historical ties to the Lewis and Clark Trail. With the mighty Columbia, Lewis and Clark, and Young's Rivers nearby, Astoria became a port city. The town grew from fishing and lumber, its location being a key point to success. Mr. Astor sought renowned author Washington Irving to mythologize the three years he'd reigned over fur trade. The Legend of Sleepy Hollow author's 1835 book Astoria gave the town importance in American psyche. I ventured to Astoria as I'd never visited the town featured in one of my favorite childhood films. Though many films were shot here like Kindergarten Cop and Short Circuit, 1985 of The Goonies was one of the best early memories growing up. Considering the abundance of sea view historic homes and structures filling the hillside, I was honestly quite stunned to learn the population was only around 10,000. There are 18 non-resident buildings here that are on the National Register of Historic Places. In 1883, downtown Astoria was devastated by fire due to the buildings being constructed mostly of wood. This is similar to the Great Seattle Fire of 1889, where the blaze spread quickly. Unfortunately, Astoria rebuilt with the same format, wooden homes stilted on the marshy grounds. In 1922, fire once again spread and decimated the downtown blocks. In the 1922 fire, the water system was taken out by the flames causing panicked locals to use dynamite to create fire stops, exploding whole buildings in the process. With its main economic sources relying on canneries and lumber for nearly a century, Astoria took a substantial decline when the Pacific salmon market diminished, causing the Bumblebee Seafood Company to close its last cannery here in 1980. The late 20th century also marked the decline of the lumber industry. This caused the town's largest employer, Astoria Plywood Mill, to close in 1989. The Burlington Northern and Santa Fe Railways halted service to Astoria in 1986. Since the end of that era, the robust art scene and tourism fueled the present livelihood of Astoria. With over 200 years of history, this town, of course, has its fair share of hauntings. In fact, many consider it the most haunted town in Oregon. As with Portland, Astoria was also known for Shanghai, or abducting and forcing into slavery. A series of underground tunnels emerged from the rebuild that followed the 1922 fire. Presences, screams, mists, and all sorts of the supernatural occur here. Tours of these Prohibition era tunnels are available year round. A link to these activities are included in the video description. Several paranormal groups frequent the very active town of Astoria, including Ghost Adventures and Destination Hill. Jefferson D. Davis, a descendant of the President of the Confederacy and author of the Weird Books, published a book dedicated to the hauntings of the spooky old town. The Liberty Theater is said to house the ghost of a man named Handsome Paul. 
Paul has been seen donning a white tuxedo and Panama hat. The George Conrad Playful House was built in 1884 and is considered the most haunted house in Oregon. Disembodied voices, floral scents, and an angry presence in the library are a few claims of activity. Playful House now serves as a museum, offering a glimpse into Astoria's rich history. The Astoria Meckler Bridge was built from 1962 to 66, spanning the Columbia River between Washington and Oregon. The bridge replaced the ferry service and is over four miles in length. It holds the distinction of being the longest continuous truss bridge in North America.